jealous. The Lord God has demonstrated that he is a jealous God, and he, in his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, defines for us the meaning of God being jealous. The Lord, to help us benefit from growing in knowledge of him, definitely wants us to know he is a jealous God. Knowledge of our Lord God being jealous prepares, instructs, and leads us to our seeking the way to the Lord God's righteousness. We have an important essence of God's culture with the revelation we have of God being a jealous God. Knowing the meaning of God being jealous prepares us for being appreciative and faithful as devoted servants of the Lord God. Deuteronomy 4.24 For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Jealous over us, the Lord God identifying and presenting himself as a consuming fire and being jealous over us helps us to understand his refusal to accept from us any behavior which served to give glory and honor to any other person or thing. The Lord God wants us to know we were created by him to ever be for his pleasure. The Lord wants us to know and practice in our living that only the Lord God is worthy of our devoted worship. Exodus 34 14. For thou shalt worship no other God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Exodus 25. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Colossians 1, 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. To defeat service to other things, we have encouragement from the Lord for our adopting those described behaviors which would give glory and honor to the Lord God. God is truly worthy to have us respecting his right to be ever sanctified in our hearts, minds, and our souls as the only true God. The Lord God calls on us to fear his word with reverence, love, and obedience. Giving worship to the Lord God, we live to love and honor him. From the beginning, the Lord God has asked us to give him diligent obedience with loving service. In all our ways, we are called upon to give constant acknowledgement to the Lord's name. The Lord wants our hearts and minds devoted to giving diligent and continual obedience to his commands. His testimonies and his statutes, we by abiding in the Lord Jesus are kept by him from going after things which would replace him. Deuteronomy 6 13 through 15 and 17. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shalt swear by his name. Thou shalt not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Ye shall diligently 
keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he hath commanded thee. Faithful servants jealous for the Lord. It has been noted that the faithful of the Lord gave warning to those of their tribe to seek to serve the Lord God only and were being jealous for the Lord. Every true servant of the Lord God lives to honor the Lord and to be jealous for the Lord, influencing others to be for the Lord. God's word continually guides us to not be participants in serving other gods and to put away from our lives all appearance of sinful and transgressing behaviors. Joshua 19.23 And Joshua said unto the people, He cannot serve the Lord, for he is an holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If ye forsake the Lord and serve other gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you after that he hath done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you, the Lord, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel.